Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for those of us that are developers in any of the modern stacks, uh, we're likely to start using JavaScript at some point. Uh, many of us also enjoy a code analysis tool to help us look at that code and determine where potential errors might be. Uh, JS Hint is my tool of choice and my editor of choice is VS Code. One of the most annoying things I ran into when I started using JS Hint and writing ES6 JavaScript was this error here. Let is available in ES6, use ES version 6. Now, it's not something that would damage or hurt your code, but I don't like to see squiggly lines in my code because that means there's generally something that I could do a little bit better. Um, the best way to fix this is to dive into the settings and if we go into File, Preferences, and then Settings, and the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna split this off to the right so that you can see how we fix that error in action. And up here in our Settings file, if you click on this little icon right here, this will take you directly into the JSON file that holds these settings. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, I have uh, some JS hint objects or uh, properties already um, started here, so I'm just going to add to it. And JS hint dot options, okay. And in here, I'm going to put uh, exactly what the error had said. Uh, use ES version six. So now, if I come over here and this will auto save as soon as I click out of that file, then you'll see that that error goes away. So if I go to five, okay, where the let keyword did not yet exist, okay, let, let and const, they came out in uh, version ES6. Previous to that, we were using the var keyword. So I have to accommodate that by choosing the ES version six, and then as you can see, the error goes away. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep providing content on the channel. Feel free to leave any comments below or feedback, and I will see you next time.